guys, so today's video is going to be all about how I got married in Vegas and so many of you might think I'm absolutely crazy for doing it, but let me just tell you guys the whole story so you're not confused because I know it is a little bit out of my character to just go off to Vegas for a weekend and get married. So this started with my friend Justin from Connecticut coming to visit me and he ended up staying at my place for a week and it was his first time on the west coast and he told me, Steph, you gotta take me to Vegas. We're just friends, nothing more, never ever like hooked up or made out or anything. And so we're in Vegas and I'll show you guys a few of the clips from Vegas. I'm with my friend Justin and we're in Vegas. Party son. I'm in Vegas again. And we're gonna win big. We are. We're gonna win a million dollars. It's gonna be epic. And I'm gonna retire in the desert. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Earth Day. It's Earth Day today, so we're getting drunk so because happy Earth Day. Like a boss. So Justin and I, we did a little bit of drinking. We ended up staying up until like the wee hours of the morning. And the hotel that we were staying at just so happened to be right next to a chapel where you can get shotgun married. And for some reason, like, in our drunken states, we're just like, yo, Justin, I like love you so much. Can we like get married? And we decided to get married. We got some lovely, lovely wedding photos that I will show you guys right now. Very, um, very spur of the moment photos as you can see because I'm not wearing like a special gown. But I was there with my best friend and it felt right and I'm the kind of person where I like to live in the moment and if something feels right then do it. Like if it feels right to eat an entire large cheese pizza, then do it. So we went back to the hotel after we got married and signed all like the legal papers and all that stuff. And um, we went to bed. Woke up, it was like around, I believe like noon, and things start coming back. Like what just happened? And Justin and I, we sat down and we talked about it and we decided that we are going to stay married and we're not gonna file for an annulment and that we're just gonna see if things work out because we believe that a lot of the greatest relationships in life um, they start off as friendships and we already have a really close and meaningful friendship So we're just gonna like see where it goes from here now that I'm married. I feel so good I feel like a brand new woman. I feel like I'm ready to take on life. I want to make babies. I want to um, You know get like a 401k. I want to cook for my husband I want to you know watch adult television shows want to get really really comfortable in my own skin and just start eating lots and lots of food just like completely let myself go I mean, this is great I'm so happy I'm married like I don't have to do my makeup anymore I don't have to do my hair anymore I can eat whatever I want like I don't have to care about how I look anymore because I've got a man who has to love me because it's written down on a piece of paper. So there's one picture from my wedding day that I didn't get a chance to show you guys yet and it's probably my favorite photo of the entire day and I'm just gonna put it right here. Gotcha! April Fools! That was my April Fools Day prank. Um, it was kind of extreme and it got a lot of people worried and upset and confused. And I'm so sorry about that, but I was in Vegas for the weekend and I couldn't not take advantage of the fact that I could take fake wedding photos and post them on the internet and confuse the hell out of everybody for April Fools Day. So ha! I win best prank of the year. What's up? But moral of the story is, and this is something that really bothered me the entire time I was with Justin, and that is, why can't a girl and a guy hang out and go out and do things without everybody assuming that they're married, dating, or hooking up? Really, really, really ridiculous and kind of got me ticked off this entire week because I had to explain to everybody that Justin was just my friend. So yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for fooling you. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!